Hello everybody, welcome to Humans with PJ. Today's date is May 6, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be on Governor. Nehemiah 8, 9 through 10. All the people began sobbing when they heard the commands of the law. Then Ezra the priest and I as governor and the Levites who were assisting me said to them, Don't cry on such a day as this. For today is a sacred day before the Lord your God. It is a time to celebrate with a hearty meal and send presents to those in need. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. You must not be dejected and sad. In John 18:28, Jesus, the trial of Jesus was before Caiaphas ended in the early hours of the morning. Next, he was taken to the palace of the Roman governor. His accusers wouldn't go in themselves, but that would defile them. They said that they wouldn't be allowed to eat of the Passover lamb. In Acts 4.27, that is what is happening here in the city today, where Herod the king and Pontius Pilate the governor and all the Romans, as well as the people of Israel, are united against Jesus, your anointed Son and your holy servant. Now, defining governor, it's a person who is a leader of the government or of a state or a province, a person who is part of a group of people who control a large organization, a person uh, who may be in charge of institutions. Now, Nehemiah was the governor uh, that reported to the Israelites that God made them right and sacred again. And we know that Nehemiah at first was a cup bearer, but when he went to Jerusalem and helped to build the walls, he ended up becoming the governor. Jesus was brought before the governor after a mock trial in front of the high priest Caiaphas. The governor and the people united against Jesus when he was crucified. In heaven, God will govern over us. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.